So let's do one computational example where we confirm um, that the mean value theorem is in fact valid. Right? So here is a polynomial function, so certainly continuous and differentiable. We've got an interval for it. We just want to make sure that there, there are indeed these numbers c, which satisfy the mean value theorem. Right? So on the one hand, let's calculate sort of this, this slope, right? this, this average change. So f at 3 minus f at minus 3, 3 subtract minus 3. So we plug our numbers in. So what's f of 3? We have 27 plus 15 plus 5. Uh, so we have 47. Okay. Subtract. So f at minus 3. We have minus 27 minus 15 plus 5. Um, so that's going to be minus 37. 3 subtract minus 3, so we have 6. So 47 plus 37, that's going to give us 84 over 6. And that's going to come out to be um, 14. OK. So that's the average change in F, right? Uh, what's the instantaneous change? So the instantaneous change, of course, is given by the derivative. So we f prime of, well, let's say x to begin with, is going to be 3x squared plus 5. Okay. So that means that uh, what we want to solve here is we want to solve the equation 3c squared plus 5. 5 is equal to 14. Or, in other words, uh, 3c squared equals 9. c squared is 3. So that means that c should be plus or minus the square root of 3. Okay? So we do indeed find two values of c that work. Right? So if c is either plus or minus root 3, right? We put that in, square it, we get 3. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 5 is 14, equals what we have for the average change, right? So there are two points on this interval where the instantaneous rate of change, right, the slope of the tangent line at those two points, is equal to the average rate of change over that interval, which is exactly what the mean value theorem guarantees.